Hey, welcome back to day 19 of the 30 day healing series. This is a series where I give you bite sized pieces so that you can implement into your life so that you can heal from trauma, no matter which stage of healing that you're in. If you want to know which stage of healing that you're in, go down to the description below and take the quiz. The quiz gives you results in which stage of healing that you're in, and it also delivers free resources so that you can move into the next stage of healing. I'm Angela. I'm a trauma healer. I've been healing my own trauma for about 10 years, and I've been helping other women heal their trauma for about four years. All of these bite-sized pieces that I'm giving to you are things that I have experienced and things that my clients have experienced as well and how to implement them or shift things into your life quickly rather than spending so much time trying to figure everything out. Today, we are actually going to talk about the fear of abandonment and rejection. I feel like this is so important to talk about because when we um, really struggle with this fear of abandonment and rejection, we people please, we don't set boundaries, and we show up as a very watered down version of us in our work or the people around us. And the reason why we do this is because we are really afraid of the reaction from the other person. We don't want to hear no or we don't want to experience a reaction that we weren't expecting or a reaction that essentially hurts us or judgment in the long run. And so the reason why we don't want those things is because we all essentially want to be loved. We want to be accepted. And when someone says something that hurts us, we automatically feel rejected. And so because of that judgment and because of that rejection, we tend not to say the things that are truly on our minds. And we tend to people please so that we hope that we get that love and acceptance in return to giving up or neglecting our own needs. And then we don't set any boundaries, even though we feel really uncomfortable with the reaction or with the behavior or the action that took place and we still do not say anything even though we know that maybe it was unfair it crossed our boundaries it hurt our feelings you don't speak up and then you show up as a watered down version of yourself in your work especially if you own a business you are so afraid of saying what's really on your mind because you want people to like you. You want the engagement. You essentially want the sales, of course, but you don't say what's really on your mind because you're afraid that you're going to get canceled or someone is going to say something or argue with you about your standpoint in your post, right? We would in turn rather fly under the radar than actually be seen and heard in our power or shining your light, if you will. Okay, if this sounds familiar to you, I want you to know that you're not alone. I've had clients that experience this. I've experienced this. No one wants the confrontation. No one wants the argument on social media. I mean, maybe you do, but I hope you don't. Um, and also, you know, you want to be able to um, feel good and not have to set boundaries, right? And so I, I understand this, but the reality is, is that if this fear is running your life, you are never going to be happy, number one, but you're never actually going to feel the deep, deep freedom that you're searching for. You're not going to find it in your energy. You're not going to find it in your time. You're also not going to find it with in your business or you're not going to find it financially and i know that you deeply desire freedom that's why you do the things that you do but in order for you to be free you must feel free and that means that you must also set boundaries you must end neglecting your own needs and you must show up authentically in order to do that you must of course release this fear of abandonment and rejection and doing and feeling the fear and doing it anyway probably isn't working otherwise you wouldn't be watching this and hearing that your fear um isn't real well that feels so dismissive right like it feels so dismiss dismissive and it feels real to you otherwise you would just do whatever without any problems 
The thing is, is that I do believe that your fear is real. Otherwise, it wouldn't be paralyzing you and it wouldn't keep you stuck. And I know that feeling the fear and doing it anyway absolutely doesn't work because I've done it myself. In the masterclass Fearless, I am going to share with you why you have this fear of abandonment and rejection. And I am going to give you methods for you to deeply release this so that you can show up fiercely and authentically. If you want to um, join that masterclass, go down to the description below. I will um, leave the link for you to register. The class is May 22nd. There will be a replay available for those who register. So if you really, really want to deeply heal this, that's the place to do it. There's only so much I can do for you in a 10 minute video. But what you can do right now, because this is all about being able to implement these things into your life, what you can do is start to lean in to this fear. I recommend getting a journal. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I talked about journaling on day three of the 30 day healing series. I will link it for you in the description. If you um, need some information on how to journal, absolutely, I'll leave that for you. But you want to lean into it. And I want you to act as if it's really happening. Like, what if you really do get abandoned and rejection? Like, absolutely go in there and lean all the way in. What happens is, and I've talked about this a few times through this series, is what happens is, is you take the power away from this fear and you show up more authentically. You're more willing to set boundaries and end those people-pleasing cycles where you're neglecting your own needs. So again, if you want to deeply hear, uh, heal the abandonment and rejection wound, join me for the Fearless Masterclass. Um, but if you want to start working on it now, you can lean in to this fear to take its power away. All right, see ya.